again, everyone. Uh, it's been a long time, but uh, if you don't know, we're from Animal Blooms Pet Emporium over in North Bay, Ontario. And uh, we actually just went to a trade show this past weekend, didn't we? Yes, we did, Derek. It was in Toronto, Mississauga. Uh, um, it was near the International uh, Airport at the in International Center. Um, basically, what it was is it was there was a variety of different uh, booths, basically with manufacturers and people trying to get their business out there as well, um, trying to get people to believe in their pet products, uh, which was mainly geared towards uh, dogs, cats, horses, and fish. There was mainly uh, dog, more so dog and cat stuff, but there was the odd things for other pets too. And it was very interesting because they had a ton of displays and booths of a variety of different things. It wasn't just food or certain thing, um, specific things. Uh, each booth had um, also different employees that were very passionate about what they do. Uh, a variety of samples too. and basically uh, orders that you can make as well that we were very interested to make for you guys um, and we had a lot of questions we brought a notepad a pen um, we didn't expect to even get samples and the things that we have given to us that's why we have those pictures on Facebook because we were actually very lucky and had a lot of people that were very good to us and gave us a lot of different uh, fun things so uh, basically what we did is we learned a lot about each and individual uh, booth that we went to with their uh, specific products and basically just told them a little bit about ourselves as well and we had a couple that we thought we'd share with you right now well, a little bit more than a couple but we thought we'd uh, do in increments with videos so uh, today we're going to go on about uh, mainly treats is what it was it wasn't food for today um, but there is a, one accessory which is a uh, dog poop bag um, the, the, I forget the name of it, but we'll show it to you anyway. Um, and what it's going to be is basically a description about what they are, uh, what we like about them and uh, why we just may hold them in our store. And more products will be to come in the next few weeks coming up or so, or even sooner. So uh, which one shall we start with today? Uh, Rob, which one do you want to start with? Uh there's a variety of flavors we actually managed to get for samples. Um, this is the wet nose is one here. I don't know if you want to bring that there to the front. Uh, so I'm not sure what flavor that is. Yeah, this is actually That's a gobby. wet nose is treat. It's a gobby and pear, this one. Uh, there's several different flavors. There's sweet potato, hemp seed and banana, peanut butter, dog granola and pumpkin lots to choose from uh, the great thing that you always like is cats and our treats 100 percent natural right yeah 100 percent all natural ingredients uh, a lot of the ingredients that are in these particular treats are more of the known uh, ingredients than such as fruits and vegetables and minerals and stuff that is really good for dogs nowadays that helps with a variety of health conditions such as the skin the immune system, um, amino acids to help build uh, tissue, um, also uh, with the blood circulation too, uh, a, a lot other variety of issues as well, such as allergies, and it's just an overall healthy food that you can trust because you know exactly what's going into it. Um, the, so that's the what those is. Yeah, it is. Uh, so just going about one kind, I was going about this one, uh, Gobby and Pear. Biggest benefits for some of this, um, agave, if I don't know, a lot of times that in tea, because it's more of a natural uh, alternative to sugar sweetener. Uh, it's very good alternative to add in, uh, very healthy for you. So that's used for the agave, and pear is actually high in vitamin C and lots of antioxidants, as you were saying. So it's any type of treat is a good idea, and whatever they add into these treats is great, they're great to use. We also got some dog takes too. Just thought I'd throw that out there. This one is Millie's, and then we also got one for a Boo and Apple, and uh, very exciting stuff. So we'll probably be getting a dog tag machine too. So that'll be exciting. And then here's the hemp. That is high on health hemp, and it's 100% hemp seeds. And we talked to the very owner of it, and she was very friendly. And it's for cats, dogs, and horses. 
uh, particularly, and you can come in anytime. We'll be happy to talk to you about it because this is a great product. It's 100% hemp seeds that are grown in Ontario. Um, it's a healthy food a source of mainly protein. It's uh, she says it's one of the best protein sources around for animals. And what I liked is the fact that it had some uh, horse ones too. I didn't know that there was going to be horse treats, so she ended up giving me one. She thought I had a pet horse, but I didn't. But I just thought it'd be good to get for people who have horses as well because it's high in protein, which is another thing horses need as well. And it helps build your immune system. It lowers cholesterol. It helps with skin conditions as well, allergies. Um, it helps with the uh, build to the immune system. Uh, lots of other uh, really good qualities to this type of tree. And what I also really like too is this one here, because this one, I like. I told her I like to make homemade dog treats and that's what I do for my business. So this is basically hemp and mixed with uh, already as a pre-mixed uh, batter. And it's just in a variety of little, uh, you know, chunks and little uh, grains and whatnot. And you just, all you have to do is just add water and peanut butter, bake it in the oven, and you can get a variety of different biscuits. And it makes a little bit of uh, biscuits that uh, will come about on their own shape once you pop it in the oven. It's healthy, very healthy. This was probably my favorite thing in this whole entire booth. I don't want to pick a favorite because I feel really bad to do that because everything was great, but this is probably my favorite. Yeah, I know. I can't wait to try it. highly in them. Definitely can't wait to try it out. Highly recommend it. And then this is, before I go to this guy, the you, Milk Bone. Yeah, they actually have a new healthy favorite. I'm sure you guys all know about Milk Bone. But the difference with, with Milk Bone now is that they're trying to be, uh, come out with a healthier treat. They're trying to get these in the Walmarts and your local grocery stores as well. Uh, they gave it to us and we were glad to know that Milk Bone's trying to have those similar, um, you know, type of movement towards gaining uh, more aspects on the need for dogs and cats and whatnot to be healthier. So we respected that and we thought we'd have a look and uh, the dogs didn't really take well with the dry uh, biscuits but they really preferred the soft chews. Um, you can smell them a lot more too. Uh, they're, they're both pretty much the same quality in terms of healthiness. These ones though just kind of they still have their sugar basically the milk bones and that's kind of what we were uh, expecting not to see but we did see but um, I mean they're coming along though they're making uh, efforts they're changing they do have oats carrots uh, fresh fruits now um, they still have their beef flavor but they're they're going towards things so uh, that was great to know uh, we talked a bit more about other things and they're trying to basically educate to, to the the quality of to what why how they're moving towards this direction anyway and uh we learned a lot from them anyway and they still seem like they're very educated passionate uh people with their pets so uh just try them still i guess if you'd like to the mail phone we're gonna still give them a try every now and again but uh it's not your 100 percent all natural treats that's the only thing and the sugar is the second ingredient and i'm not a big fan of that these were the poop bags. Uh, we didn't open up yet because we wanted to show you what was so neat about it. Basically what it is, it's it already in its own display. So you open it up. Like so. It's in the box. Basically, and you can smell the, uh, what it's made out of basically. It's uh, biodegradable, it has a certain ingredient. Uh, not sure if it's the pine or anything, but it has an ingredient anyway into it. It makes some really good bags. It's nice to smell. You should come in and smell them. We have a lot available for you to sample. And it has a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, descriptions on how to set up the display, uh, how to order, and the shipping and whatnot, information. Uh, here's some of ba uh, the bags here. Along with the holder to put it in. That's the holder that you can attach to your leash or your pants. And then this is the notebook here. And then basically what you do is you just okay. really? lay them as so. And you can actually put the, this is what is the key thing. Uh, a lot of people are seeing these seven things. Uh, completely biodegradable, um, nice green packaging for it. Put on your wallet or not your wallet, your pants, wherever you want. Easy to grab out a bag, pull it out, and you're done. Ready to pick up. Um, we don't have a, much information on it, but I know there was there was actually quite a bit of pooper pickup or 
things there, one of them being like uh, doggy auger. Um, so that could be something for you guys to look into. It's actually kind of creative. It works like an auger and actually picks up the poo right off mechanically with an auger. So it's actually kind of cool the way that works. We had a Netto demo for us with that. But uh, that's all the products that we have here today. Uh, if you're wondering about our shirts, uh, we're giving free shirts through Merrick. Uh, we have the, we actually currently carry these Merrick's hoofers. Uh, they're really good digest, but they do make good food and good treats as well, so. Dogs love it. And they were treated well from us, so there, that's your poop bag display. Thank you. So, maybe the next time we'll work on treat, or food, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So tune in soon, and uh, we'll any questions or comments, feel free to leave them on our page or an email, or be happy to call us anytime. And uh, thank you. So www.animalblooms.com, our website. Uh, Facebook is facebook.com slash and blooms, A-N blooms. Uh, obviously, have our YouTube account as you're watching on here. Info at animalblooms.com would be our email. So... Feel free to contact in any way you want. Thank you.